Here is the ladder of logic for the cruise's security system. Here you're looking at in parallel, so the equivalent of an OR gate, um, normally closed contacts. That means with no stimulation to the system whatsoever, these will be closed and power will go through them. Notice that there's X0 through X4, that's five contacts, that's five doors of the house. To enable the system, we go to C1 enable. That is connected to the leaving timer. See C1 enable contact there. When you hit F5 on the HMI panel, it energizes C1 here, up top, and energizes C1 down here to the leaving timer. That timer is set for five minutes. So you have five minutes to get all the doors closed before the system arms itself. So after those five minutes, the system is armed. The normally open contacts on the doors are, when closed, energizing these contacts here, X0 through X4, basically opening them. So this whole OR section right here is opening this whole rung to C10 out. So as long as those doors remain closed and those switches remain in the closed position, then this uh, rung of ladder logic will get no power. Say for instance someone breaks in. Well, the switch will open, be it, it'll be in its normally open position, which means no stimulus to the switch on the door, which means this will have no power to it. None of these X0 through X4 switches, if they uh, they lose power to them, then they'll close because that's their normally uh, unstimulated position. That will go through this leaving timer that is closed after five, this leaving timer contact that's closed after five minutes, your C1 enable, which is your on off switch on the HMI panel. If you get power through those, then you go to C10 out. C10 out then goes to this next rung of logic. Their C10 contact there will close. Um, also, it will be important to notice that C10 here is a latch-in circuit, so once a door has been broken, the only way to turn the system off would be to hit the C1 enable F5 on the HMI panel. That way, if, if a door does open, you can't just close it and reset the system. The system stays on until you go and hit the C1 enable. C10 then um, energizes this rung of logic that goes to a timer. This timer is set for 20 seconds. This is the alarm timer. In 20 seconds, the arm out timer, the alarm timer, will close this T0 contact. Closing that T0 contact energizes this rung of logic, which goes to Y0, which is the output on the uh, Koyo Direct Logic 05 PLC. And that is where the alarm siren is. It energizes that siren and the alarm goes off. Like I said before, disabling it is as easy as going to F5 on the HMI panel and hitting the C1 turns the system off. Um, actually not that easy since it's kind of hidden in the house and uh, the only people who know where it is is the people who installed it, myself and my parents, so don't think you can uh, be breaking into my house. There it is, there's a logic for the cruise alarm system.